How should you feel when you're training jiu-jitsu? Do you get really angry with some training partners or overly excited in some positions? Hi, Professor Marcelo here from GB Santana in Canada. In this video, I'll explain how to use emotions to perform better on the mats. First thing that comes into my mind is your mindset. Having a growth mindset, remembering why you started to train jiu-jitsu because you want to learn you want to evolve having a, a positive attitude while training uh, certainly helps you a lot so try to focus on the long-term goal of the learning experience second topic i would say is control your emotions right the whole point of jiu-jitsu is about control so it's no different when it comes to your emotion if you're super frustrated during the fight and you you kind of experience that your mind wants to quit you know that's the moment that you need to talk into your mind and convince yourself that the fight is still on and you gotta keep moving forward you don't want to show and you don't want to give up on yourself in the first place and because you don't want to show i think you need to have like a kind of a poker face you know sometimes in the fight you get smashed you cannot show to your opponent like to your training partner that moment is like you're feeling crushed you gotta keep it like cool and work hard to get out of there. The other day, a parent of one of my students asked me, do you ever get angry while training? And my, my answer is, no, I never got really angry. Of course, I understand we, when we're training, we get upset and we get frustrated, maybe because the results that we expected were not there yet. But my, my advice is to focus on your learning experience, on your journey, and try not to let that become something personal between you and uh, another training partner or uh, opponent in a, in a competition. You know, focus on your learning, how can you take advantage and the things that are under your control, how can you improve it? I'm gonna tell you a fun story. I had like a friend of mine back in the day, we used to train together. He wouldn't come that often to the school, but when he was there, it was full on. Like every time I had to train with him, I remember it was like a finals of any tournament. No, he was super intense and some people didn't like to train with him because they were not able to accept that actually that was his personality he was full on all the time he was on the mat no matter who he was training with he would give 100 percent and i accepted that that was his personality and i tried to to see as a way of push me out of my comfort zone help me to improve my my skills so i appreciated to train with him i had a good time Although it was, uh, was hard training, I never, I never really thought that was about, oh, he's trying to, to crush me, he's trying to defeat me. I never looked that way. And because of that, because I accept you know, different personalities, in this case, a uh, super intense guy, we became good friends. So that's my advice. Think about accepting different personalities instead of putting a lot of uh, weight on that clash. If you're able to see this way, if you're able to accept different personalities, you're gonna welcome many more people into your friendship uh, circle. Uh, you're gonna bond with a lot of your teammates in a different way. And the school will be a place that you're gonna love to be at. And of course, if you don't like to train with somebody, you, you can always avoid that training. You know, that's not a problem. You know, if you're injured for whatever reason you don't, uh, don't appreciate, you can avoid. But diverse training partners is going to help you so all levels youngest or older bigger heavier and or lighter people men and women all kinds of people the more the better the last thing i would i would say is communication is key when you can't train at your best just need to share that with your training partners maybe because of an injury or whatever reason like just talk to your, to your teammates and that will help a lot. Don't forget that you belong to a very supportive community. So take advantage of that. In your Jiu-Jitsu journey, you're not only exercising your body, you're developing your mind, you're getting a chance to know more about yourself. So sometimes when you're training, like you, you're in the hard, uh, tough spot and you have a hard time to endure that because you're becoming too passive or overly aggressive in a position. So try to be aware of the emotions that are playing 
on your side. And the ones that are not, like it's time to get rid of them. To understand more how you should deal with your feelings, I believe you need to experience it yourself. Just come for a free trial and I guarantee that will help you to have a great experience on the mats. And see you on the next video.